Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Sharika Jackson, Shakari Richardson, Gabby Thomas. Let's talk about love. Let's talk about love. Let's talk about love. And did Tasha Gale almost break the long jump world record? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. You drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, when you ready? Yep. Good to go. At this year's ongoing World Championships 2023 being held in Budapest, Jamaica had a stellar, stellar performance in the men's long jump. And in fact, in this instance, with Wayne Pinnock taking the silver medal and Jamaica's and Jamaica's Taja Gale, who is the former world champion in the men's long jump, a former world champion in the men's long jump, Taja Gale took the bronze. We did a full feature on that. Go look for it. However, let's take a quick look at um, a jump that Tajay Gale did during the series of the men's long jump um, finals, where it appears as if he broke the world record for the long jump, which is one of the longest world records, by the way, in history. And at least, if not, came unimaginably close to it. The thing, however, was that he fouled, meaning... His foot came off the board uh, and went over the board. But this jump, people, I just had to feature it. Take a gander. Now, I have no idea how long a jump this was, but just look. Because, of course, it was a foul. Now, I think you saw where well, you saw that WR. That WR is, means world record. And I mean, people, he was right about that world record. He was pretty much on the world record, if not just a tad behind it. And that's, this is one of the longest world records in the world. Now, the current world record is 8.95 meters in feet. That works out to uh, 29.36, or 29 feet, 4, uh, 23 over 20, over 64 inches. That's insane. And it was set in 1991. Man, people, can you imagine if that jump was legal? I just had to share that because I was just blown away by that. Now at the end of the Women's World 100 meter run when Shakari Richardson ran that incredible 10.65 to clip the win from Jamaica's Sharika Jackson who came second and the greatest of all time Shelly and Fraser Price who took the bronze medal in this instance. Um, many people said to me they were very surprised by the camaraderie between the ladies. She's got a good start, but watch Sharika Jackson. Sharika Jackson, is she just going to do it? Oh, on the near side. Shared experience out there. And here they are just relaxing on a lap of honor. A wonder, wonder. <laughs> And I decided to do this because I know that, you know, we, the fans of Jack and Field, will get very intense, you know, this controversy is that country. But the fact of the matter is the athletes are just people who all know what each other goes through. And in fact, you know, Shakari Richardson said this really, really well on two occasions. Let me listen to Shakari Richardson speak about her reverence and respect for Shelley and Fraser Price. This was before their world, uh, the, the, the world, her, her, her world championship win. If my memory serves me correctly. Uh, my name is Shakiri. No, no. Uh, First of all, it's Shakiri. No. Uh, okay, I'm telling sorry. you that though. But um, I don't really understand your question, but I think you asked me about Michelle. And I just want to say she's an amazing athlete. I literally, I grew up watching her knowing that. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> Y'all knew I'm a baby. I'm really a youngin, you know. But, <laughs> but not seriously. Just seeing that, like, cons but she just. <laughs> 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 but, just, but 
it's just knowing that um it, it's <laughs> it's a great it honestly was gonna take literally my best to come forward and be able to compete knowing that she's been doing this and can continue to pull up on the podium every single time shows me that I have a journey I have something to do I have more to do like she said what makes this sport or what makes it so fun or interesting is the fact that you can always do more there's always so much more that you can pull out of yourself and become better now during the semi-finals we saw this very motherly hug from uh Sharika Jackson to um uh, Sh- Sh- Shakiri Richardson uh, when they finished that semi-final running uh, semi-final number three but I think uh, Shakiri Richardson expressed exactly what I've been trying to say which is these people really are not rivals I mean we make them into rivals because I guess it sells more papers and it's more exciting to think of it that way but anyway listen well I'll start um, I would say regardless of, you know, what the media may say, what, you know, different countries may try to do to, you know, big up others rather than, you know, put down others at the same time. I feel like at the end of the day, we all understand that when we get on the track, we put our best foot forward. We understand the hard work it takes to be the athletes that we are. So when we all cross that finish line, we, you know, we at least give each other the minimum of respect that, look, I understand what you did to get here, so I respect you for that. So I feel like we all understand each other to a certain level. Regardless of what y'all media may say. <laughs> <laughs> and we have seen this throughout the entire competition, both men and women. Women's 200 final away. Sharika Jackson, excuse me, Shakari Richardson on the outside has already been passed. Here comes the world champion, Jackson. Sharika Jackson into the home straight. She has put her stamp on this event. She's going to go back to back for Jamaica. The first since Marlene Honey. And she crosses in 21 41. That wasn't even close at all. And I could tell the way that she ran the 100. She was in the middle of the track. All- it's love. It's love and respect because they all understand what. The, the punishment that they put themselves through and yes i mean for us i mean obviously for the media it's more exciting sometimes to portray things in a different way and i also think to be very honest with you now this of course is my two cents that there are instances where maybe the athletes actually don't like each other um, until they meet each other it's human beings but what i'm saying is when i talk about let's talk about love i'm saying that generally throughout um, the world championships you see all this love and all this camaraderie once they cross that line i mean some some sometimes athletes before they they um they start a race they don't look at each other they don't speak to each other because they're focused on their job their job is to win that's their job their job is not to come second or third or fourth their job is to win um but i think this is a very important lesson that i wish countries and different races i hate to use that term race because i sometimes don't even know what i mean that that's something that was invented about the 1500s people there was no such a thing as race until about the 1500s we won't even get into that because that's a whole different type of video but i'm simply saying that if, if more people would see this the humanity in this scenario and the support there have been countless situations in the olympics etc where we have seen athletes and why i decided to do this video i had a conversation with a friend of mine who believe who who implied that this is false i don't think it's false um the way i see shelly uh uh, sharika and shakari 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 are now the two top female sprinters in the world in their division in their chosen uh, field 100 200 and i see genuine respect and love for each other and i'm not talking about romantic love or sexual love okay i'm just talking about love and respect and we saw this from even before this with uh, elaine thompson harry defending uh shakari when she was going through her you know her moment so yeah there's a lot of love on that track and i just wanted to point it out to you and i know this is very different from our regular videos but i just thought you should know but this of course is my two cents now don't forget this is subscribe button hit no special like but remember your royals kings and queens bless up